Do you want to give yourself a huge advantage and stay ahead of the crowd, farming stagnant and tycho air job? If yes, then I found a sure way that you can actually achieve that, which is by deploying a smart contract. Yes, deploying a smart contract can actually make your wallet seen or perceived to be that of a developer. And that can actually rank your wallet among the top 1% users of that particular project, which in turn will give you a good reward when the time comes. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to deploy a smart contract on Stacknet and also on Tycho. If that sounds like what you're interested in, why not sit back? Let me show you step by step exactly what you need to do. Let's go. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started proper, I want to ask you, have you smashed the like button yet? If not, kindly do so right now. And also, if this is your first time of coming across my channel, I want to say a very big welcome to you. Please go ahead and subscribe and turn on the notification button so you don't miss out anytime we post a new video. All right, let's dive in into this video. Now, this is remix.ethereum.org. Some of you already should be familiar with this application, but today we're going to be doing something different from what we have been doing in the past. Now, the first thing we have to do in order to deploy a StackNet contract is to head straight to this plug right here. There is a plug icon. I hope you can see it. It says Plugin Manager. Once you click on this, it is going to show you other projects that you can actually activate and deploy a contract on. So we are actually looking for Stacknet. You can scroll down to find Stacknet or you can go ahead to search for it right here by typing in Stacknet and look at that. So next we click on Activate. After doing that, it's going to show you the deactivate button, which means it has been activated and this is going to pop up for you. So you go ahead to click on remember this choice so that this doesn't pop up the next time. So click on accept and OK it. So now we are good to go. And the next thing is to head straight to another page, which is known as Stacknet by example. This is what the page looks like. So here we have the code and everything we need to deploy this contract. But we are not going to be copying this code. We just scroll down and here you're going to see visit contract on Voyager or play with it in Remix. So we go with play with it in Remix. Click on this and it is going to take us back to Remix. Remember, we just activated our Stacknet account on Remix. So this is going to show right here and this is a contract we just got without copying it out and on the left hand side you will see the stacknet button and also remember that you need a bravo wallet or an agent x wallet i actually use agent s wallet and now you're going to be connecting that wallet which is enabling your environment so look down here you see remote devnet just click on it and you have the option to select a wallet which is your environment okay click on wallet selection and you have the option to either go for agent x or Bravo's wallet. I have not installed Bravo, so I'll be going with Agent X. I'll click on this, and your Agent X wallet is going to pop up for you to connect. Okay, we have been connected successfully. The next thing is to compile counter.chiro. Click on it, and it's compiling already. Just wait for it to go through. Again, this pops up. We are going to tick the remember this choice and accept it. Okay, the process is still going on. Kindly be patient. And here we go. Cairo compilation output written to blah 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 blah. So we have successfully compiled. And when you take a look on your left hand side again, you will see that this Tacnet button has just turned green, means this one also is successful. And the next thing we have to do is to deploy Kanta. Dot Cairo. Remember, we just compiled. Now we're going to deploy. So we click on this once again. And this time around, your wallet is going to pop up for you to actually confirm this transaction. And it's going to cost me about seven cents. I'll just confirm it. All right, people, this is also successful. You can see all the information about the contract we just deployed. And when you scroll down a little up here, you will see your contract address. Now, for you to be very sure that your contract is actually a success, you need to head straight to the Voyager Explorer, which is right here. Just copy out the contract address, which you just deployed and paste it in right here. You will see whether your contract is a success or not. And if it is, then you are good to go. If you're unable to copy out your contract from here, you can head straight to your Agent X wallet to check out 
the interaction you just made or the deploying of contract which you just made look at it right here it says deploy contract when you click on this and it is going to show you the transaction id click on this you will definitely see your deployed contract then you can come and paste it in right here to be sure that this is actually a success okay so now we have done the necessary things we need to do but there is something else we need to do after we have compiled deployed the next thing is for us to interact you have to interact with this contract and our advisor you interact at least 10 to 20 times with this contract and there are two ways you can actually interact with this contract the first one is by clicking on increment and your wallet is going to pop up for you to make an interaction okay this kind of interaction will definitely set your wallet apart from the crowd so this is going to cost me about eight cents i'll just click on confirm and there is an interaction taking place right now the interaction is successful and you can see that interact here has also turned green so you can do this as many times as possible and if you wish you can check your wallet also to see that this transaction or interaction was actually a success so you see the increment right here now another way you can actually make this kind of interaction aside using the remix is to head straight to voyager once again and paste in your contract address right here it is going to bring you right here then click on contract and connect your agent x wallet after connecting any of the wallets you're using then click on increment and you will see transact click on transact and confirm that transaction in your wallet and with that you would have made another interaction with this contract like i say go ahead to interact at least 10 to 20 times this of course will definitely set your wallet apart all right congratulations you have just deployed a contract on stacknet the next one is for us to deploy a contract on Tycho. so we head back straight to remix once again and it means that you have to refresh your remix page and begin afresh okay so once you're here the next thing is to click on new file or you can head straight right here and click on create new file whichever it is fine so i'll click new file and then i'll type in Tycho. okay remember this is for Tycho. then after typing in this you click on it and it is going to give you the option for you to paste in the code of the contract you want to deploy the question is where are you going to get this code from so i will take you right there and this is the Tyco smart contract code just copy it from here or you can copy it like this whichever it is fine so i've just copied it then we come back right here and i'm going to paste it in okay this pops up once again click on ok and that is all you have to do right now so the next thing is for you to compile this contract we head straight to solidity compiler remember this one is on the latest Tyco rpc which is the Tyco genia remember we did the testnet few days ago if you have not seen that video please go ahead and check out my channel which you're watching this very video from right now you, you will see all the testnet we have done on Tyco. okay next we click on compile Tyco.so. click on it and this is already compiled successfully and the next thing we have to do is to enable our environment so we click on this one that says deploy and run transactions okay and this is what it's going to give us now here is where you're going to enable or change your environment so click on the top right here which says remix vm and you go ahead to select injected provider okay and that has set up our environment successfully now we are going to deploy a contract go ahead and click on the deploy button right here which says deploy contract not payable okay and now it is processing and our metamax wallet pops up for us to confirm this transaction so go ahead and do that and that is done successfully make sure you get this pop-up right here it means that you have successfully deployed a smart contract on Tyco. and when you go back to your metamax wallet to check your Tyco account you will see contract okay and that is all for today i trust that you got value from this video please smash the like button right now and share this video everywhere i hope and i look forward to this bringing a good reward to every one of us later in the future thank you so much for watching i'll definitely see you in my next one and don't forget we are gonna make it bye